LG V40 Thin Q has been holding up after all this time since its release. This is our long term review so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Oddly enough, LG's flagship phones have not been able to gather much of an audience the past couple of years, but that doesn't mean the company isn't making good devices. The LG V40 Thin Q made its debut late October of last year as a nice blend of the G7 and the V30. It has a curved glass finish with rounded corners and a really nice gradient color look on the back. Simply holding the phone and you can feel how premium it is. LG keeps the water and dust resistance as well and adds some US military spec compliance so it should withstand some drops. That's a good thing considering how slippery it can be without a case. Our unit is the Aurora Black option and you can see it has been holding up well after all this time. There are little to no scratches on the body, in fact the same can be said for the display as well which is great considering I tend to use my phones without screen protectors. Speaking of display, the first thing you might notice on the V40 is the iPhone 10 style notch. This kind of notch isn't really my cup of tea to be honest, but you do get used to it after a while. And hey, if you're really not a fan, LG gives you the option to hide the notch in the display settings. Luckily the 4 inch display is pretty good if you ask me. It is HDR enabled and offers bright colors. It's one of the best displays you'll find on a smartphone. Aside from the display, one of the key features is actually its audio. The V40 is one of the few high-end phones that still provides a headphone jack. Within that headphone jack is a 32-bit quad DAC for enhanced audio. For years, LG has been perfecting its audio technology, and now the company is adding a feature called Boombox. This Boombox feature was brought over from the G7 and allows the body of the phone to amplify the volume with a distinct audio punch coming from the center of the phone to boost the speaker output. It definitely works, giving it a louder and fuller sound that other single speaker devices can't match. Now as for the performance, the V40 is using last year's Snapdragon 845 processor along with 6GB of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. I'm happy to report that the performance hasn't taken a hit even after all this time. Everyday tasks and even gaming have been lag free, although it can get warm with extended sessions. One downside of the LG V40 has to be the software. Not only is it still using old Android 8.1 software, it hasn't received a security patch in quite some time. Considering LG has a building dedicated to software updates and newer versions of Android have been readily available, there should be no excuse for a phone of this caliber to be running old software. Now since the phone's release, there aren't any issues to report with the software. No lag or force closes, I just find the software stale and somewhat unpolished. This could be a personal preference, which is why I'm always trying out different third party launchers for a better user experience. Alright moving on, let's talk about the battery. The V40 has a 3300 milliamp hour battery, and honestly that is a little on the small side compared to other flagship phones. Fortunately this battery isn't as weak as it sounds. Of course everyone's battery life will vary depending on usage, but during our testing the V40 lasts a full day with heavy usage. Battery life definitely seems to be holding up after all this time, and if you're even a little proactive towards battery life, like applying dark themes and wallpapers, you can obtain some crazy screen on time numbers. Speaking of numbers, 5. That's the number of cameras on this phone. There are 2 on the front and 3 on the back. Now because I'm not much of a selfie taker, I primarily stick to the rear cameras. There is a 12 megapixel standard lens, a 16 megapixel wide angle lens, and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. These cameras obtain really good detail and colors are quite accurate. Camera performance has been really consistent, plus if you combine all the different lenses with all the different shooting modes, the possibilities are endless. The V40 is definitely the embodiment of a versatile camera and is quite frankly one of the most powerful mobile camera setups in the market. So if you're buying this phone for photo or video quality alone, you'll be pretty happy with your purchase. Aside from the odd name, the LG V40 Thin Q is actually a great phone that has been holding up really well. Sure it has its ups and downs, like the lackluster software and that notch can be an eyesore to some people, but overall, it does a great job adding enough features to please a wide variety of people. The only thing holding most people back might be the price tag. $949 can certainly be a tough pill to swallow. Luckily as time passes, most LG phones usually see a pretty good price drop. I'll be sure to leave links in the video description with the most updated price. So, 
It looks like LG has made yet another commendable smartphone. It's one of the most complete Android smartphones around that has been standing the test of time, which is why we can easily recommend it. 